Elder Ricard Shiar of the Gathering of Christ Church here with your weekly, that's right, podcast, blog, whatever you want to call this. Hey, we was doing this way back when, <laughs> Peace FM, before YouTube was doing live stuff, having the conversations that need to be had during this this wonderful awakening of God's chosen people. Folks, hey, I'm going to tell you, it's amazing what's going on in the earth right now, where our people are, are is under duress on every side, and I'm going to talk about that tonight. The spiritual attacks, the financial deprivation, all of that was prophesied that the nations would come against us at the very end. They would rally together to destroy the children of Israel using who? The merchants of the earth. See, unless you understand who we are, you don't know about these tactics, these social tactics, how they move all people around the earth to help uh, and continual oppression of our people. Soon as they see we wake, we wake, we begin to wake up, begin to uh, help each other, come back to God. They go overseas and bring in satanic reinforcements to oppress and to do what? To keep the children of Israel under duress. And I want to talk about that. The spiritual level, the physical level, and on the financial level today, <clears throat> how they were able to accomplish keeping the children of Israel down, even during this awakening. And what's weird right now, brothers and sisters, please hit the like button. There's so much we want to discuss. Uh, and I'm going to open up the lines early today. Right? There's so much I want to discuss. Um, on another note, on a, on a different note, right? I noticed that Biden, just uh, 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 so-called President Biden, just put together a council or some type of committee uh, on how to fight anti-Semitism in the wake of Kyrie, Kyrie Irvin and Kanye and others uh, staking claim that they, without saying it, yay said it, <coughs> staking claim to our people being of what they call the true lost tribes of Israel. I just call it lost tribes of Israel. <coughs> okay. Because we're Israelites according to the Bible, according to bloodline, and according to prophecy. <coughs> I'm not an Israelite according to some religion I found or some conversion. Okay. That's what they would have you believe, folks. <clears throat> they would have us believe that, like I said last week, I think I have some throat spray here. Not that, Listen, I don't have a cold or anything right now, but sometimes, you know, with the heat on, my throat gets dry, so. <clears throat> I have some good stuff here called Four Thieves. Yeah, real good stuff. But, but jumping right in. I want to talk about this, right? Of how the merchants of the earth have conspired against us, right? Now that we have found out that we're that we're not African, okay? We're not Hamites, right? And and we're more than just Christians or those who believe in Christ. We don't only believe in Christ, we're from the bloodline of Christ. And the same reason that they sought to take him out. Well, the merchants of the earth have gathered together and conspired against us to wipe us out before the promise is fulfilled. What is the promise, one might ask? <clears throat> well, it was, it was promised, brothers and sisters, that we as a people would one day not just overcome. Okay? That we would eventually gain rulership on the earth. And that things would turn where the Gentile nations who have enslaved us would now assume their true positions 
as servants. A righteous servitude. And there's nothing wrong with that. People serve every day. How many of you? I know I have. I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with filling out an application and doing what? You know, making a righteous earn. Well, the other nations, we're going to be in a position to give jobs. Okay? Servitude. Righteous servitude. Where instead of the other nations being on top, we will have... That's right, the catbird seat. We'll be up there allocating positions according to prophecy. And the Gentiles are doing everything to slow that prophecy up. They're doing everything. Okay? Now, now of course, I'm going to be, wait till you see what I'm covering today. I'm going to take this an entirely different way than any of you probably would have thought. But like I say, I like to infuse all of our lessons leading into the Hebrew and Bible Academy week two. That's right. Um, week three, we went into the creation of the universe week one, week two, tracing the serpent seed to show folks that it's true. Angels did come to this earth, become, became gods and began to set up cities using Cain. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. That's fine. <clears throat> Listen and understand. Idolatry started on that side to put fear in the people. That's right. Each home began to make an idol after the falling gods. And there was a plan to splice animals, your dinosaurs and all these things, so that now they could attack the children of Seth. That's with your dinosaurs and your prehistoric animals. And on top of that, giants was in the earth due to the metamorphosis between celestial and terrestrial beings, Nephilim or giants. And there's proof that giants ruled in this earth. A matter of fact, you're going to see it coming this week, the promise seed, that folks, even George Washington, when he came into America, when they traveled over into America, folks, George Washington they witnessed giant wars. There were giants here that the North American Indians talked about. Where did they come from? Well, it was pre-flood. It was pre-flood. And then after that, like it says in Genesis 6, the Nephilim began to reprocreate in the earth again. And I can show you exactly how they went from that side to this side. But this week, we're going to do one better. Breaking down the promise, we're going to also show you that some of these so-called giants or Nephilim were actually, that's right, pharaohs over Egypt. Giants. These are the so-called powers that rule behind closed doors, that rule your politicians, folks. They ruled back then, and we warred against them on our way to promise back then under Moses. I'm going to prove that in the academy to show you the real forces seeking to keep us under the bottom like Pharaoh did in Egypt. Okay? Well, these so-called powers that rule in dark places still exist. And they use what? A financial system, the same system that was set up under Cain, as well as a healthcare system if you get people sick by doing so, what happens? That's right. The fear of death will have you run to their sorceress for a remedy. A new way of keeping people under levels of servitude by weakening the body. Folks, that's nothing new either. That happened once the, once the flood subsided, the demons and the evil ones began to make the children of Noah sick. How can you control the people? Financial deprivation. And the merchants will control the finances and allocate them to keep God's people at bay. So they set up a whole system, a Babylonian system. That's right, mimicking the original construct struct of Cain. That, that almost left to the destruction of the earth, folks. 
Cain set up a city. The evildoers and Satan taught them how to do it, how to control all products. And if you control commerce, then you can slowly destroy people without them actually recognizing it. Raising prices, raising interest rates, doing all types of things, raising food because they have to go through you to get food. Well, all of these were tactics as a form of control. Either you acquiesce under the satanic government or die. And that leads us to where we are right now, folks. We're under war. We're under destruction. But very few of us can understand the construct of their war. And before we realize that we're under war, but well before we realize it, we begin to bury many of our own family without even realizing war was waged against us. And these dead that, that died through the war are sacrificed to their gods. These are sacrifices to their gods. But they, they do it through psychology. And guess what? They're very slick in having our people believe in a system that, that would have you off yourself. Well, who's behind all this? The merchants. Spiritual warfare waged by the, the merchants. And you don't, you'll very rarely get to understand this if you don't understand the Bible's narrative of what's going on. Gentile nations are seeking to stop us from receiving, that's right, what's coming to us. And they'll die before they will acquiesce and actually admit the truth concerning our people. They will die before they hand over rulership of this earth. Okay? They'll die first. They'll die in war. Matter of fact, that is the final war of Armageddon. But Christ has set us free and we will one day stand in a position that was promised through our father Abraham. That's the promise that comes through Christ. It's not just believing in him. It's walking in those footsteps, doing the will of the father and <clears throat> cleaning ourselves up from this dirty Babylonian world to accept the truth of who we are. And do what? Stand in it. Follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Set up a level of spiritual and righteous nepotism amongst those who would like to do right. Okay? That's how you do it. Point out the evil. And now we began to prefer one another opposed to what? Incentivizing the evil merchants who are using that money to war against our people in every place of this earth, in the inner cities in specific. <clears throat> Here we go. Elder Lawyer, Gaja, whoever you are, I'm waiting on the line. If y'all want to come in, if y'all are hearing this, because I'm, I'm about to jump in. Listen, <clears throat> I have it already here. I'm ready to I'm ready to pop with this. Okay, right now. If y'all call in, I'll bring you in, but I'm going full steam ahead right now. <clears throat> And come in when you're ready. Just tell me when you're ready. I'll bring you in. But in the meantime, I'm about to go. We're going we're gonna to jump in. Right now, Elder Lawyer is in Zimbabwe. We have much footage from the church from South Africa all the way into Zimbabwe. We're going to roll that out this coming Sunday. Hey, the Most High is moving. The people in Africa are waking up. They know that they're from the lost tribes of Israel. We're no longer under some African spirituality and all this other garbage they're peddling us, they're peddling to us over here. We're not dealing with it no more. Okay? There's no sensationalizing Africa anymore. Africans want out of Africa. And they should, because the promise is Israel. The promise is Israel. Now, how did they do this? Let's talk about the merchants real quick. Let's go to the book of Revelation. We're living in the very end. So let's start at the book of Revelation 13. Revelation 
13. Follow us here. And yeah, by the way, for those who don't know, I'm on, we're only week three of the Hebrew and Bible Academy. Historytimes.org. Enroll, you'll get creation of the universe. All the news that we cannot even talk about here anymore under the censorship. Also, on top of that, <coughs> tracing the serpent seed to show you that it's the unseen powers ruling politicians. Don't think your vote is doing anything. These people